Dunn's Modernity Paragraph number 1 Introduction Dunn is the greatest among the metaphysical poets and holds a high place among the great English poets. Dunn was popular in his own age but he was more popular in the 20th century. The reason of his modernity lies in his modern approach towards life and literature. During the 20th century, there has been a great revival of interest in the poetry of Dunn. Dunn's poetic fame remained high up to the restoration but sank to lower level in the 18th century, says Cox. But in the 20th century, Grierson's efforts gave to Dunn a standing compare. But in the 20th century, Grierson's effort gave to Dunn a standing play with Shakespeare, Milton, Dryden, and Pope as a poet to engage the full powers of scholarship. What follows in the following paragraph are important reasons of Dunn's revival or appeal in the 20th century. Paragraph number 2 Common Grounds between 17th and 20th century. On account of the efforts of Grierson, T.S. Eliot and many other modern critics, Dunn now has become established a son of England's great poets. The revival of interest in Dunn's poetry is not the outcome of a shifting literary taste but of a deeply rooted similarity and the common social grounds between the age of Dunn and the modern age. Both the ages transitional in their nature. In the 20th century, the old Victorian values were given place to the new ones. Similarly, in the 17th century, Elizabethan values were fading away and new ones were taking their place. There was a conflict between the old and the new. There was a loss of faith in religion and the grouping for a new ideal or belief. There are two features of the 20th century interest in metaphysical poetry in general and in the poetry of Dunn in particular. Firstly, the readers of the present age are better able to appreciate the poetry of Dunn than their predecessors. And secondly, the poets of our own age have been drawn to the metaphysical poets and have learned from them a good deal in regard to their style and poetic technique. According to F. R. Lewis, the originality of Dunn is the keynote of his modernity. Y. B. Yeats, R. Brooke, W. H. Auden and T. S. Eliot came under the spell of Dunn's poetry. Paragraph number 3 Fusion of Thought and Feeling Complexity T. S. Eliot found in him the fusion of thought and feeling and unification of sensibility. Eliot's emphasis upon experience as seen in Dunn for exploring, illuminating and relating the individual experience to life is what the modern poets are to be doing. For him, as to many others, the chief characteristic of the modern world, of modern life, is its complexity and the chief function of a modern poet is to introduce or enable us to perceive some order and relationship into all this complexity. Paragraph number 4 Psychological Approach Dunn's approach was also psychological. We see him involved in his introspection in his love and divine poems. 
his poetry is predominantly a poetry of his own introspection and projection of various moods and sentiments he is mainly concerned with his own emotional experiences and he expresses these experiences with typical metaphysical style however he talks of other things in his love poetry for example the degeneration of the world human misery the suffering of the soul imprisoned in the body the nature of physical joys the worldly happiness the fears of death and so on paragraph number 5 element of wit another important thing which makes dun modern is the element of wit he is passionately witty or wittily passionate dun's wit is based on conceits the other essentials of dun's peculiar wit are its complexity variety of moods intellectual vigor irony exaggeration comparisons etc the most important quality of dun's wit is that it is conceptual rather than verbal another is its multidimensionality it expresses all moods feelings and sensations dun's wit is an expression of his rational outlook on life an embodiment of his poetic sensibility and a reflection of his new vision of life paragraph number 6 dramatic opening dramatic opening of almost every poem is another element of his modernity that the reader comes across in his poetry almost every poem opens with a rhetorical casual and conversational tone dun seems to be involved in some kind of conversation with somebody or some phenomenon of life it may be god jesus christ the day of judgment death or objects of nature there are always two person on the stage and one of them is assuredly dun himself moreover the dramatic atmosphere differs from poem to poem and there is a great variety of moods even in the love poems paragraph number 7 dun's language the language of dun like other aspects of his art also reveals his originality dun deliberately chose the new style and made a special use of it he rejected all the conventional and traditional poetic devices thus dun revolted against the petrarchan spenserian pastoral poetry t.s eliot says that dun will remain permanently in the higher place than he has occupied before for he was a great reformer of the english language and english verse paragraph number 8 realistic concept of love yet another element of dun's modernity is the realistic treatment of love in his poetry before him there was prevalent a platonic concept of love in which woman was adored dun revolted mainly against the petrarchan tradition in love poetry by bringing about realism into it dun being a realist sees woman as companion in the fulfillment of passion and as an object of love dun tries to portray the whole gamut of sensations in the experience of love this experience ranges from its lowest depths to its highest peaks conclusion all these points illustrated above suggest quite clearly that dun was a modern poet although his peculiar style was not appreciated by many critics the revival nevertheless came about in the 20th century due to many common grounds in the 17th and 20th century 
Dunn, however, will be remembered because of his remarkable contribution to the English literature.